Hi, I'm the Internet's one named Lucas, and I want to welcome you personally to Season 2 of ONL Flips. I want to update you guys on the cliffhanger I left you guys at with the Pantone color swatches. I ended up selling those for $200. I accepted a best offer, shipped them out really quick. But I never made a video to update you guys on that. But now you know. I'm going to try my best to keep this video from getting rambly. So editing, Lucas, it is your job to keep this video as tight as possible. So it's been a few minutes since I've made a YouTube video. But I wanted to take time to take a video and update you guys on where I've been, why I've been gone, and where I plan to go in the future. I understand that this isn't going to be the most thrilling YouTube video uh, in the reselling community, but like I said, this is my journey from A to B as I grow as a reseller, and this is an important part of that. So I want to make sure that it is in there and up to date. And yeah, so if you don't want to watch this one completely understand, though I hope you do, and I hope you stick around, and if you were thinking, oh, I see this guy popping up, I haven't watched his videos in forever, I'm just going to unsubscribe, I hope that maybe uh, this video kind of holds you off on that, explain some things, and we get where we're supposed to be going. So, I got my list here, let's jump right into it. So I did some reselling in 2020, though it wasn't a lot, basically after that last video went up, I listed a little bit more and I went out and bought a little bit more but then basically I just kind of stopped and all I was doing was shipping out the orders that sold. That last video was uploaded in June and then July and August we kind of focused on making sure our wedding, I got married by the way, I uh, made sure that our wedding was kind of in order and with the pandemic and trying to make sure who was going to be there and who wasn't going to be there that was just added stress on top of that and then after that I just everything kind of weighed in on me on how shitty of a year 2020 was. Like for instance, I'm in an assistant manager position at my job and I had to help decide who we were going to let go during the pandemic and it never really weighed on me. And then eventually everything just kind of crashed in at once. And on top of that, I was trying to do reselling, I was trying to do the YouTube thing, I was trying to stream, playing video games, that's another one of my hobbies, and work f full time. And so the thing that I was cutting out was sleeping and so I wasn't sleeping a lot and it all just kind of caught up to me. and. The end of that year didn't go so hot for me. <laughs> I was just really stressed out and I just needed to cut some stuff out so I just kind of stopped uh, doing a lot of things and then in uh, kind of February 2021 I tried to do some reselling again. Uh, I decided not to do the YouTube videos for the time being and just kind of see what happened and then that didn't really uh, fix anything and so I was streaming more, and I was watching movies again, and having a good time watching movies. Um, so yeah, it was just kind of a balancing around, trying to bring the stress levels down. Uh, but, uh, but now I feel like we're back in a situation where I, I can move forward. Aside from the stress, I think another reason that the reselling just kind of stopped was because of the space that I was working in. I was working in one bedroom in our two-bedroom, thousand-square-foot apartment and I outgrew that room really fast. I mean, if you go back to the first video on the channel, I had one shelf, and by episode 30, I had maxed out the entire amount of space that I could put in that room, as well as leave space for me to pack stuff, uh, do my listing, and uh, make, having my desk space and all like that. Um, that problem is now solved. We bought a house. This is a new space, and I now have an office, and I have taken over the second largest bedroom just for storing uh, inventory. So I've got plenty of space to actually work and do stuff now, um, which I will give you that tour of the two rooms later. Right now I just want to get this video out of the way, this formality of where I've been and where I'm going, uh, but that one will be coming next, I promise. And I think another third kind of part of the problem was since I was so limited on space, I wasn't helping the situation while making YouTube videos because I would go to yard sales, I would buy stuff, and I would then come home and list it, but I wouldn't put it away because I needed to record all that stuff, but then I never got, I just stayed busy and never got a chance to record it, and then I'm like trying to decide, did I list this stuff, is this stuff not listed, and then like all the space that I had the shelves for turned into the rest of my floor space, so I couldn't get in there, I couldn't pack, I couldn't really list, I was just completely 
out of space. But yeah, I hadn't gone to a yard sale all of 2021 until about a month and a half ago when my dad came up to help me and my wife move into our house. Uh, the community we were moving to was having their yard sale day and we went around and I realized how much I missed it and I think it didn't help the stress levels that I was cutting something out that I truly enjoyed doing. So, you know, going to yard sales, waking up, the thrill of the hunt and stuff like that is something I, I truly enjoy doing this and I think reducing the stress levels by cutting out something that I also found stress relieving, it's, it's like a weird balance and I think uh, now that I've got my own place with my wife and uh, my own new goals in mind, I think things are looking up. So yeah, that's pretty much where I was. The YouTube and reselling kind of hit a hold because I was super stressed out and I just ran out of space. I didn't have anywhere else to grow. But now I do. Like I said, that's coming later. So let's talk about what's coming later. Where am I going? What am I doing? So first and foremost, having the new house has kind of fixed my sleep schedule already. Instead of going to bed at like 6.30, 7 in the morning and waking up at noon to try and accomplish all the things that I need to get done, I'm now going to bed at 3. I'm tired. I'm naturally falling asleep. I feel a lot healthier in that front too. So having having a good sleep schedule works. Who would have thought cutting out sleep was a bad idea? I'm currently not having the greatest time at my full-time job, so I'm keeping my eyes open for other positions that might open up or something that will give me a better schedule that I can do more of the reselling on the side. Like if I could take a pay cut, I can use the eBay to like supplement some of the lost wage that I'm making now. So yeah, ideally in the near future I either find a job that lets me do more reselling or maybe I can just do reselling full time. It is something that I want to try and I think in the future if I don't give it a shot I won't forgive myself for not attempting it. Um, because like I said earlier, it is something that I truly enjoy doing and I think it's something that I, I'm good at. I feel like I'm pretty good at this. So I feel like I can, uh, I can do pretty well at it. but. Uh, you know, I, it's just not a position that I'm in right now to do that. Um, you know, got the house now, got the student loans kicking back in pretty soon. I got all the other house bill, or not house bills, but like life bills, I guess, words. I should use scripts. Scripts help. I'm starting to think this video might be a little incoherent. I'm not real sure. <laughs> He's all over the place. And then on top of that, before work, I've been waking up, making sure all my orders are packed, listing a few things, and then coming home and I can relax. I don't have to wake up, go straight to work because I woke up so late, and then come home and try and cram as much reselling stuff in as I can before I go to bed or before I start up a stream or something like that. So doing now having kind of the balanced a little bit time before work, a little bit time after work, and that schedule is working out a lot better. But right now, my goal in returning is I'm hitting, I'm giving 150%, I'm hitting the ground sprinting, um, trying to build this up as best as I can. I know it's it's kind of sucky that I'm coming back just in time for a yard sale season to end, so a lot of thrifting. I've already been out to thrift stores, and I've got a bin store nearby. I'm actually hitting that up now. Push through the end of the year, try and keep this momentum that I've built up in the past month or so that I've... Uh, recently started doing this again and maybe put myself in a good position in the near future and when the time is right to give this thing a full-time shot. I, I can't predict the future. It might be a year from now. It might be two years from now, but when I feel like I'm in a comfortable spot, it's something that I would really like to try and do. So I think that is the goal right now is to get myself in a safe and smart position to attempt to do this full-time. I'm not just going to jump in head first into the deepest waters that I've ever seen. I want to I want to be safe and smart about it. So right now it's that's the goal. That's that's the point that I want to move to. So yeah, I really think that's going to do it for this season opener. And I know I know the season thing is kind of dumb. Like I get it's like an ongoing thing. Like calling it seasons is kind of silly, but when I was a kid, I always wanted to edit movies and like or TV shows like work in film in some aspects, so calling it a season and making it episodes scratches that little childhood itch that I had, so I, you're gonna deal with it and you're gonna let me have this one, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I think that's... <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. I know it was a boring desk video, we're gonna get back into the reselling stuff soon, but I knew this video, this video had to happen, it's the formality of the situation. The next time around I'll give you a tour of the new space and my setup and kind of the new process that I'm going through, and then hopefully after that one we can jump back in to the actual reselling content. It feels good to be back, it feels good to be doing the reselling again, I'm motivated, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling healthier mentally and feeling like I have more energy, I'm not as tired all the time, still pretty tired, but not all the time. So I feel like things are on the up and up and we're finally getting out of it and I know that this is either 
hopefully hopefully gonna help and not hurt the situation but we'll find out uh, we'll see what happens so yeah my best goal is I'm gonna try and get videos out on a weekly basis like I used to one video a week I think works really well for me instead of trying to do multiple times a week with the schedule that I have so one a week is the best but um, I'm not gonna let myself get buried under my own stuff like I used to so if I don't have time to record it it's just not gonna get recorded and we'll try and throw it in uh, whenever I can but uh, and if I don't have time to make a video that week I'm just not going to I'm not going to uh, add extra stress where it's not needed because we saw what happened the last time I did that. But yeah, to everybody watching this video that used to be subscribed, thank you for waiting it out a year for this video and I hope you're just as excited as I am for the next step in my reselling journey and I hope uh, you guys join along the way. It's been pretty great. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click the like button down below and hit subscribe so you actually know the next time I release a video. Not in a year. <laughs> yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you all in the next one.